What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here and today I'm going to be talking about Quick BMS, which is an awesome program to help you extract resources from tons of games. All right? So, instead of having to go out there and try to find a single application that will extract files from like one particular game, this program seeks to be the one solution to do it for as many games as possible. All right, so that includes individual games and like all games that are made with like the same game engine. So let's say something like Game Maker, which is a program that a lot of people use to create games. Okay, uh, the Game Maker engine, the way it compresses and encrypts files, basically, if people build games. Um, and don't modify the encryption or compression or any of that. You can use Quick BMS to extract tons of Game Maker games. All right, so it's a really awesome program. And what you're going to need to get started with everything is Quick BMS itself. Uh, you'll need a BMS script file for the game you are interested in extracting. And then you may need a hex editor to help you figure out. Um, what the encryption or compression for your file is that you want to extract stuff from. All right, so long story short, first thing you want to do, uh, go to quickbms.com. It will forward you to a post on my blog explaining where to get all the resources, kind of what uh, Quick BMS is, and then this video is attached with that post. Okay. So once you go there and you go to the actual Quick BMS site, which is this URL here that I link to, you will download Quick BMS, and then you want to find a script for the game you're interested in extracting files from, and you can find that on this Quick BMS site or Zenhacks.com, which is the official support forum for Quick BMS. They have a lot of scripts here, as well as help and tutorials and other stuff like that. So keep that resource in mind. Once you download Quick BMS, you will have this quickbms.zip file. What you want to do is open that and extract all of these files into the same directory. All right. So I'll just right click on it and say extract Quick BMS because I use WinRAR. All right. Now here's Quick BMS. Two things. One, you can double click on it to run it and it'll just prompt you for uh, the f script file, the file you want to extract stuff from, and then the directory that you want everything to be extracted to. However, if you run this from a command window, you have all sorts of other options available to you, which I also link to in that post on my blog. Um, and this is like the documentation for Quick BMS showing you all the stuff that you can do from command line. So that's for you more advanced users just so you know about it. All right, so what we want to do most likely um, for most of you watching here is you'll double click on Quick BMS there and you'll see two things pop up, this command window and this. These prompt you for everything that the program needs to extract the stuff for you, all right? So the first thing it wants is your Quick BMS script. So this, let's pretend it's your game, all right? Um, well, hang on, let's do this. Let's run this again. All right, first let me go to the scripts. So the game I want to extract stuff from, I figured out that it is a game maker game, which is made by Yo-Yo Games. And just like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, the Yo-Yo Games BMS script will work for tons of game maker games since they're all compiled exactly the same way. All right, so I will give it the Yo-Yo Games BMS script, which I downloaded from the Quick BMS site. All right, and then what I want to do is uh, select the input archives or files you want to extract. So this is where I have my game here. All right, and I know that the files that I'm interested in are sitting in this data.win file. Okay, so this is the one I want to extract. Now, if you don't know what it is, if you try to look for data.win on here, you know, like control F to do an actual search on here and you don't find it, what you can do is go here to this BMS search and you click that and it'll bring you to this, okay? 
Now this is where having a hex editor, which HXD is a free one that you can download and install. All right, you can use a hex editor to open the file and see what the header is, view the header. So we'll right click on the file that we're interested in extracting stuff from and go open with. And once you install HXD, you can find it here. All right, we'll go open. Now right here, these first four bytes, you may only need the first three, but the first four, you can search for that. And if that is in any of the BMS scripts, like inside of the scripts, then you can find it here with the search. So we'll say form and then search. And now any of the scripts that have form in them, here it is. And so then you can go through here and look for data.win or yo-yo games. So right here, look, this is the one that we're interested in. Yo-yo games script. Okay. So data.win, that's what we've got. So then you would right click on this, save the script, and then bam, there's your script that you would need for the file. Okay, so back to this, we gave it our script. Now I'm going to point it to the file that we want to extract stuff from. Double click on that. And last, it wants to know where do you want everything to be dumped to? Which directory do you want it to save in? So I'm just going to create something called output. And then don't delete this. Don't worry about changing anything in here. Just create your folder, go into it, wherever you want to save your stuff, and then click save. And then boom, you can see right now it's dumping everything out of that file. Now if there was an error, then maybe I used the wrong script file, so I should go back and try to find another one. Um, or perhaps they updated, uh, you know, whoever made the game I'm extracting stuff from. Perhaps they have a slightly different version of the compression or encryption. You know, maybe they changed something themselves. So. In that case, what you can do is go to the Zen Hacks forum and go through here and see if anyone's had any issues. You can ask for help, blah, blah, blah. It's a cool resource, right? So anyway, now that we have extracted our files, here's the output and here is everything from that game. All right. And for this game, which I'm not going to name, I specifically wanted the music because I couldn't find it anywhere. I would have even purchased it if they had it for sale because usually it's pretty cheap to buy the soundtrack for some of these games. But anyway, uh, that's what I wanted, the music. So then I would take this, convert it to MP3, throw it on my MP3 player and listen to it while I'm driving around like a big dork. Video game music, cruising in my ride. <laughs> anyway, so yep, that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Go to quickbms.com. That will take you to my post about this which you know i'm surprised they didn't just get quickbms.com but anyway whatever uh go there get all the resources you need remember the zen hacks forum check that out and uh let me know how you fare let me know what game you've tried to get this working on and how it worked for you and all that good stuff so give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and check out my cheat engine tutorial series if you want to get into game hacking I get very specific with things and detailed, so it's good for all you beginners out there. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.